My name is Sergei Butenko, and I'm passionate about wild edibles. After doing countless lectures and workshops on edible plants all over the world, I have noticed approximately a dozen edible plants that I've been able to find in North America, South America, Europe, and Australia. In this video, I'm going to show you how to harvest and prepare the most common wild edible plants. Before we jump in, let's cover some basic ground rules. Number one, don't eat something if you don't know what it is. I cannot stress this enough. Wild crafting can be safe and easy if you follow this one basic rule. So be sure you can positively identify all the distinguishing characteristics of a wild edible plant before you consume it. Number two, try all new plants in small amounts. All of our bodies are different and thus may have different reactions to perfectly edible plants. To avoid allergic reactions and other mishaps when eating new plants, limit consumption to just a few leaves. Number three, don't mix too many wild edible plants together in a meal before you know how your body reacts to them. For the purposes of this video, I will be playing with lots of plants in order to demonstrate how I typically eat. However, if you're new to foraging, I suggest that you keep your mixing to a minimum. Once you have some experience under your belt, then go ahead and mix all the weeds you are familiar with. In addition to these three rules, it's also a good idea to consider the environment in which you plan to harvest wild edibles. Every forager should aim to avoid chemicals, pesticides, and other contaminated areas. The following places are definite no-nos for foraging. Railroads, golf courses, major roadways, and public areas with heavy traffic. If in doubt, ask around. Do your research to figure out if an area is clean. A responsible wild crafter is one who recognizes that he or she can negatively impact an area by over harvesting its sensitive plant life. As a conscious forager, you should approach an ecosystem the way that you would a garden. When collecting wild food, pick only what you need for the next few meals. Don't stock up for the week or the month. Many people think that wild edibles only grow in pristine forest settings but it is often quite the opposite. Just as garden vegetables like warm temperatures, sunlight, and water, so do wild edibles. Thus, if you go looking for tasty plant life at high elevations, in dark forests, or in regions that are arid, you'll likely come home empty-handed. Great foraging spots are generally near water and below 4,000 feet in elevation. For this reason, I'm shooting this movie at my friend's organic farm. Here we will find the most common plants of the world, and it is likely that these same plants are growing in your own backyard right now. So without further ado, let's dive in and pick some wild edible plants. 